All right, so what we're going to be doing in this section here is we're going to be creating the post page here in the navigation. That way we can display some of the posts and edit them and do the CRUD, basically create, read, update, delete functions here. But our links are not working yet. We are actually, if we click on it, they're not working. So let's go ahead and make it work, make them work. And uh, let's do that right now, actually. Let's see, categories is actually not working either. So let's go to navigation real quick and edit that. So here on the navigation, we want to view all posts. It's going to go to posts. All right, post.php. And the categories is actually going to somewhere else right now they need to go to categories and we are in the includes folder so we don't need to go anywhere else actually the categories is in the root actually all right we are in the root for the category so we need to go a little bit up for posts we will be actually in the also in the root so let's do that let's create that right here where can I find it <laughs> all right let's create that we need to create that file actually so right now if we save this and go to post it's gonna take us to post.php we don't have that yet this is gonna take us to our categories all right so let's go ahead and build this page right here so we are going to be using a kind of template type of thing because we're going to be doing a save as from the categories one all right this one has everything we need all we have to do is just do a save as post.php and delete some of the stuff here this here is the if i put my cursor there and i go all the way top you can see that this is the division right here for that all right so we're just going to take everything out that is not part of what we want. Save it. And if we go to it now, refresh, we see that it's empty. We should have a heading there, right? Let's just get that heading from categories right here. Let's get that heading for now. Later on, we probably will replace it. Let's go to post and get that little heading there so we have a little bit to see something here, right? All right. So, how are we going to do this? First, we create a table, all right? So, this is the first thing on creating this post because we want to display everything. And just like you saw in the demo, you can refer to that introduction of the CMS. So, let's build a table, all right? And inside this table, just build the table inside the table we get the T head we also inside this T head we get a TR inside this TR we get some TH elements and we're gonna have I think it's like around seven I believe I'm not 100% sure maybe seven or nine but we'll find out pretty soon so on this here we're gonna have the post ID and I'm just gonna call it ID but it's really post ID and here we're gonna have the author. Here we have the title of that post category that it belongs to. Status um, image. And I think we're gonna need more fields. Tags. Yes, we need a couple more. We need for the comments and actually and the date we got a date right we need to put dates on that comments Bam, ta -da. and the day I think the day for last is fine all right so date all right, let's see how that looks right now we have no styles on this form right here so yeah everything is 
stripped down with no styles. So let's add some styles here real quick just to make this look a little better. Let's add a class of table and let's see how that looks. All right, it's looking a little better, right? All right. And let's add another class of table. As a matter of fact, we can copy all the styles from categories instead of writing them down right here. That's it. Let's just copy the whole thing out. And let's just do it right here. Let's make our tables look the same, right? Perfect. All right. So what else do we need? We need after the T head, we need the T body. And actually we need a TR there with some elements. And these elements are going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine elements times nine tab. And what do we want in these elements? We want the title. And just for placeholder information, we'll just copy everything down. Let's just put 10 here. Put bootstrap or something, I don't know. And why do I keep naming Bootstrap? I think the framework is awesome since you can make everything really cool like we are doing right now. If you want to know how that works, I have a course. Um, actually, that's the alter that we need to do, put there. The title would be Bootstrap Framework. And alter would be me. Category Bootstrap just for placeholders we can copy and paste it but I think we, by the time I put my mouse over and copy and paste it I think we can write a little faster tags comments and date let's see how that looks right now of course no styles alright so TD T body, T head, and the reason why it has no styles is because I ended the table here before I even put it inside. We need to put it inside the T head yeah, after the T head, all right? Not after the table and tag. Refresh. Now it's working. So the 10, the other bootstrap. All right. So that's how our table is gonna look, and we're gonna have some data coming down, and um, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. This section here, you're going to love it, and we're going to be doing some awesome work. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next lecture. Take care.